Here's how to get Optifine 1.21.8 for the latest update of Minecraft. Let's go. Okay, guys. So the first step to download Optifine is to click the second link in the description, which is going to put you in this article here. This is a quick article in case this video is too fast for you on how to install Optifine. But if you want to get it straight to the point, just go down to step one and then right here, click on the Optifine button that is going to redirect you to the Optifine page where you're going to go ahead and hit download right here for 1.21.8. And if you don't see the download button as such down here, what you're going to do is press on preview version and then you're going to press on mirror right here. Now, if you press download instead of mirror, you're going to have to watch an ad and then after five seconds, you'll be placed over here. Okay. But if you press mirror, you'll be over here where we're going to press download to download the installer of Optifine. Now, the download for the installer will begin right away and you're going to find that file here on your recent download history or within the default downloads folder of your computer. Nonetheless, locate that file and what I want you to do is go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. Mine is right here on my recent download history, so I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop it. Now that we have Optifine, we're kind of ready to begin the installation. First, you want to make sure that you have played Minecraft 1.21.8 at least once on your computer and then that you have closed the game as well as the Minecraft launcher. After that, all you have to do is double click on the Optifine installer and it should open like this in here. And if it doesn't, don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to fix it in just a second. But most of you should get it to open and once it opens, you want to go ahead and hit install. And like I was saying, if Optifine doesn't open, when you double click on it, that's because you don't have Java 21. Java 21, it's a requirement when installing mods, shaders, servers, anything that you do with Minecraft 1.21.8, when it comes to modding, you're going to need Java 21. So I'll leave you this in the description as well. Quick article in here on how to install Java 21. It's actually quite easy and we have videos on the channel on how to do so as well. But once you download Java 21, you install it just by clicking next a couple of times, then you'll be able to open the Optifine installer if it wasn't opening for you. Or perhaps it was opening as a web browser or text document or something like that. Now, once Optifine is installed, we're going to go ahead and hit OK. We could delete Optifine from the desktop as well because we don't need it anymore. And now it's time to use Optifine. And let me teach you how to use it and how to add shaders. First, go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher, of course. And inside the Minecraft launcher, if you install Optifine properly, you should see it selected here automatically. As you can see for me, it says 1.21.8 Optifine here. If you don't see it right here, you go ahead over to installations and then make sure that you do have modded selected. As you can see, if you don't select modded, you won't see Optifine here. Now it's time to play it. All you have to do is go ahead and hit play. You go read through the sign. If you agree, click where it says understand and then hit play one more time. Now, while Optifine loads, if you guys need a Minecraft server and you want to support the channel, use the first link in the description to create your server with Apex hosting. You will get 25% off. You'll be supporting the channel. And of course, you will have a great server with Apex hosting. They have locations all around the world. They support over 200 mod packs. All that you want for a server, you could get with that first link in the description and get 25% off as well. Now, back in Minecraft, the game has already loaded and here's how to use Optifine and how to load shaders. Let's go ahead and open a world though, just for testing. And now that I'm inside a world in here, you will instantly probably see that you have better FPS because when using Optifine, you should have an improved game. But now if you want to add shaders or perhaps you want to customize Optifine, what you have to do is press escape, head over to options and then in here head over to video settings. You will see that this menu has changed. You now could go into quality, performance and change things around in here however you want. But you also have the shaders option. If you want to apply shaders, all you have to do is add a shader into here. Let's say that you downloaded some shaders. And if you don't know where to get shaders from, I'll leave you this article in the description. If you like a shader from here, all you have to do is click on the name of the shader that will redirect you to the shader page. Then you go ahead and download it from here. And then once you download that file, let's say that you downloaded the shader, it will download as a zip file, as you can see in here. All you have to do is drag and drop it into the game and you will see that shader appear. In this case, I added Blitz shaders. Now, once you add it into here, you should have a button that says apply. Currently, Optifine is on preview. But once you have that apply button in here, all you're going to do is go ahead and hit that button and download shaders into your game. But there you guys have it, how to get Optifine 1.21.8. If this video helped you out, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.